So hello and welcome everybody to a quick pick a card reading uh, where we will be taking a look at what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. Uh, make sure to follow and subscribe to know when I come up with a new reading and thank you all for being here. So starting with pile number one we do have this red uh, red uh, veil, vial, uh, liquid right here. Pile number two we have this green one and pile number three we have this uh, blue one. So take a moment to meditate on which pile you're wanting to take. Uh, the energies are already in here and so let's begin. So pile number one, you guys shows this red uh, veil or vial. Well, this red one, at least. <clears throat> Let's see what they are currently feeling towards you. Pile number one. So, pile number one, you do have someone here quite thinking a lot about you. Um, and it's a feeling that they are wanting to take this to the next level. You might have had an argument recently or a fight but I kind of do see them uh, coming back towards you or apologizing for this and going to something more solid or that's what they are wanting at least but we're gonna take a look at what is this for you pal Yes, like they are indeed manifesting you, wanting this, uh, hoping, wishing for it to be you or you guys. Yeah, look at this. They cannot stop thinking about you with the sun here over the fox as well. There we do have this whip though. Feeling defeated. <clears throat> what is this? Was this an argument? Pile number one that you had? Or do they? can be as well that they had the opportunity uh, before to make this uh, stable but they uh, back down instead and now they are feeling <clears throat> well why did I do that it's almost like they should have taken the, this chance uh, when they had it because I as you can see here they are kind of uh, well not doing anything about this or they didn't do anything about this connection um, so you might have had a fight or a, uh, like a break and this has given them a lot of perspective what's matter to them I can I do see it being you because they are wanting this to well I'm gonna communicate to you that this is something they do want now or 
but I want to take this direction with you for this uh, stable, long lasting, sorry, um, long lasting commitment where they didn't do it before. It's like they saw or saw you walk away or they didn't do anything to stop you from walking away. And that's what this whip and defeat is all about, is that they should have had fought for you, for this. It looks like you uh, taking a step back was exactly what this person needed to realize how much uh, how much they really do want you. So, pile number one. Uh, yeah, they are indeed manifesting to you. Uh, thinking of the all the good times, maybe, and at the same time thinking of ways to communicate this so their wish comes true or so this can happen. Yeah, so right now they are in their head uh, figuring out how to commute or what or how to communicate with you that this uh, is indeed something they do want uh, a happiness and long lasting relationship now and they are gonna well do everything in their power to make it happen so that's what I had for you, Pile One. Thank you and bye. Pile number two. You guys chose this uh, green one. Um, so let's see what we have for you. <coughs> Sorry about that. So you do have someone here, uh, pile number two, that is thinking more for themselves now. Um, I will clarify this, but I kind of do see them, well, shutting down, being a bit more defensive towards you and starting to look at, uh, well, other possibilities doesn't have to be other persons but other uh, well just something new to do or go after but <clears throat> we're gonna clarify yeah with a uh, three of swords right here over the fox so they are hurting and that's why I kind of do see them shutting down but still they are still wanting this or you um, So, pile number two, you do have someone here hurting over you, but <clears throat> at that point where they don't want to think about this anymore, uh, or about you anymore, because they every time they do, they are starting to get this uh, hurt feelings, and so they're closing this chapter. Uh, well, not, no, they are closing not all the way down because they're still wanting this they're still wanting you but for now 
they are not looking at it because it's hurting them and so the new things that they want to do is just anything just anything to keep their mind occupied to not just sit at home thinking about you so they wanted to keep themselves occupied trying new things um, well do just doing a lot of different things so they don't have to uh, think about this but they're still hoping a part of them is still hoping and wishing for you for this to come back together yeah kind of do see this pain hitting them as at, at hardest at night because we do have the moon here with a star as well uh, and the bear so there's a lot of thoughts coming in just about bedtime but during the day they are trying or wanting to do new things um, because they don't want they are not wanting to feel this pain anymore So, <clears throat> pile number two, uh, they are thinking about you, uh, or at least trying not to do it, because it brings them pain to do so. So they're trying on different things during the day, or so they don't have to think about this. Mm. But there's a part of them that's still hoping and wishing for this to uh, for you two to reconnect but I don't see them taking any actions towards you not now at least uh, for now they are kind of just shutting down uh, trying to keep themselves occupied and yeah wishing So, that's what I have for you, pile two. Thank you and bye. Pile number three. So you guys chose this uh, blue veil, veil, blue, this blue one. Um, so, let's see what's going on, what you're feeling. So, pile number three. Um, it's like if you, it's like you do got someone here, pile number three, that cannot stop about this passionate night that you uh, had together. And if you haven't had it, then this is something they do want to have with you. But uh, it's like a non-stop thinking about this passion. And it's a... Uh, well, you got them intrigued or they are interest, interested in you. Like wanting to explore more, getting to know you more. We will clarify as well. Yeah. 
with a king of wands right here there is a this is a new person pile number three that you are dealing with Or is it two? It's like two completely different energies here with this clarification. One is coming towards you, pile number three. Uh, wanting to is, uh, cannot stop thinking about you, is a desire in them to be with you. And the other one is is looking elsewhere, walking away. Someone you had an argument with, a uh, a fight, because we do have the five of swords with the whip. So I don't see the person uh, like if it is one person then this will something would indicate that they are in a split decision like not knowing what to do but here is two clear energies or clear clear decisions one is wanting this with you um, just can't stop thinking about you uh, all the like wanting to get to know you better uh, passion new butterflies in the stomach kind of new person feeling is going good great and the other one is well packing up and leaving this uh, connection or you so you might uh, dealing Pile number theory with two people. The one that is indeed walking away after an argument, a fight, and someone new coming in here with a lot of desire and passion towards you that really are wanting this. So, pile number three, uh, looks like you do have a new person here, and they are coming in with a lot of passion, uh, wanting to get to know you better, just to have fun with you. Uh, it's a getting to know each other kind of energy right here. And you have as well someone that is uh, walking away from all this uh, drama and fight and, and arguments trying to start a new or wanting to start a new path um, no, someone is leaving so 
pile number three that's what i had for you uh thank you and bye